Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing great. I really do. I've kind of set back a little bit for the last few days. Popped in and out when I had a moment. But it just didn't feel real comfortable. Perhaps all the controversies, the disputes, the negativity. Like bees, they sting the spirit, drain the energies, and milk away the hope. The woolen blanket of old beliefs, the old way of thinking, are normal, or what we so often deem as our normal. I have said many times that what we're going to find in these days, weeks, months, and perhaps years ahead are going to challenge our whole sense of being. That most of the things that we think are real and true just are not. Or perhaps they are deliberately severely mutated just for our viewing. As if something or some ones could be keeping the truth from us. Like a safe without the combination, each of us struggling to try and find the right numbers. Often guessing, trying random numbers in sequence in order to open the lock while hoping to find the hidden secrets within the locked safe. Seeking truth. Just seeking the truth. Each and every one of us. Perhaps Alexander Bell would have understood our truthers today better than most of us do. Or maybe even Einstein could relate. After all, both of them, having been scoffed at and ridiculed for their insane ideas. Can you imagine what the human beings around them thought as they spoke of what they believed could be, would be, or was. Yes, many of the things that we see today, or that we hear, especially on YouTube, are things that are out of our normal in today's world. Wouldn't you agree? You know, what we see and what we often hear is way beyond what we as humans, not just Americans, but as humans, can fathom being true. Bees dying, birds falling from the sky, Fish of every kind found dead on the shores and beaches. Trees dying, vegetation withering away, poison in our air, water, food. Sinkholes all over the place. Corrupt wishers of depopulation at the expense of the innocent and the non-suspecting. Yet, should another human find even a smidgen of truth, it is received like the wrong puzzle piece that just does not fit it doesn't fit the picture of what we think 
our picture, the puzzle that we're trying to put together, the pieces don't fit our normal. It just cannot be. What, what they're telling us is out there in the universe and bees dying, birds dropping from the sky, our water poisoned, our food deliberately injected. No. That's way too far out there. These people must be lying. It can't be. Can't be real. It's too far out there to be real. A good example. Back in 2012, I posted a remix for another YouTuber. The title was something about truth in quantum physics. The video is a powerful example of something that Einstein or Bell and many others would have found fascinating, even though it is way, way out of their normal. Or was it? Or is it? But they would have been fascinated. They certainly would have, because they lived their lives outside it. The box. In the comments I watched, as a few very smart people just could not wrap their heads around such ideas, some actually making fun of the very concept that was relayed in the video. One example I'll share with you here. One commenter wrote, and I quote, Okay, that's it. No more doom, gloom, collapse, and New World Order videos for me. Stop talking about it and it won't happen, right? Just eat McDonald's. Don't worry about the elites, wars, and economics. Just dream of a better world where everyone is happy and there's no pollution. But wait, isn't that what everyone did for the past 50 years? This sounds like a little kid covering their eyes, and thinking it makes them invisible. I end quote. An honest comment made by a very intelligent person, I might add. Someone I dearly love. Yes, he spoke the truth. That is what people have done for far more than 50 years. And yes, that is our problem. Fear of the new, the different, the odd, the strange, and the abnormal. So in defense, we naturally shield ourselves from anything that feels distant from our so-called normal. Fact is, in many videos, I have shared bits and pieces of our need for solutions, along with many others. As we all know, the problems, we do. We know the problems. The ever-mounting pile of problems. Yet, we just cannot, for the life of us, figure out how to fix things, though not for the lack of seeking solutions. We all do that. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, the harder we try, the deeper we go, buried, suffocated, like someone fighting to break free from the grip of quicksand. I'm doing this video today, guys, in high hope that you will hear me 
and understand the real message that I share. And know that as I share it, I believe this to be 100% true or I would not be sharing it with you. For, re for the religious groups, the Christians, the atheist, in fact, for everyone, every human being here on earth, the answer is the same absolutely the same all summed up in one word yes one word you y o u you are the answer you are the solution you may even be the problem. You are the fix, the cure, and the hope. Because each of you were in fact given the ability by your Creator, God Almighty, even the great chiefs of the Native American tribes, the indigenous humans know this truth. In school, you were assigned workbooks, books that contained information that you did not know. You didn't have a clue. You were instructed to read the books, the chapters of the books, and absorb the information contained in the books so that you would gain what we on her, here on earth call knowledge. Using the Bible as a school book, a learning tool, rather than just a religious book, we can find the solutions to our problems here on earth and the cures to all things that ail us. Yet we skip over those verses, those sentences that explain it very clearly. In fact, many people won't even touch that book. Like a child in school who skims over every text, not really reading, perhaps waiting for someone else to read aloud and thinking they will pass the test. No problem. The chapters that we seem to miss explain that we should not be concerned with, with what goes in our mouths. Now, hear me. The chapters that we seem to miss explain that we should not be concerned with what goes in our mouths for it is in fact what comes out that defiles us. Some very wise people already know this to be true. How about talking to the water? I've mentioned that many times. Haven't you tried it yet? Talking to the water? Or did you research it? Can there really be power behind my words? Have you ever heard the phrase that there is power behind words? Or the power of the spoken word? Yes, surely you have. God spoke, let there be, and there was. Over and over he spoke, let there be, 
three powerful words. Let there be, and there was. In biblical days, many people heeded the spoken word and found that they too could speak and power flowed from the spoken word. The Red Sea parted, the army of bones rose, and many, many more stories. Could these be the stories of confirmation for you and me today? An instruction manual for the human race. Could it be that we have sat down and shut up far too long and that by doing so we have forgotten the secret within our safes? Could it be that in dwelling on the problems speaking of the problems and sharing the problems over and over and over. We have fed the very demon that we are fighting or wanting to fight. Could it be that those who use words in chants and spells and other word binding phrases, the skilled lessons, the quantum physics, such as in the secret where they teach the law of attraction. actually do work, though not yet defined, not yet strong enough, because person to person, each of us are too busy on speaking of the problems, the problems, the problems, the problems. rather than to speak what it is that we want to see, how we want to live, how we can live. Yeah, the law of attraction, it actually does work. Though, to define it, we have to have the passion and conviction the total power and conviction within. What if we as a community begin today, today, on the 15th of January, 2014? What if we begin working together to speak what it is we want rather than what it is we do not want. What it is we demand and we do this with our hearts and our mouths with the same passion that we have been using with hate and bitterness. With the fear that we speak for the things that are wrong with our world and the leaders. What if, just what if when God spoke and said, let us make them in our image, there was much more to it? What if? What if when we speak love, kindness, and good, rather than despicable loathing, we reverse the lies, 
We reverse the de deceptions, the damages, and so much more. What if? There are many places on the internet where you can find that what I'm telling you is true. That will confirm that the spoken word is much more powerful than you realize. That in fact, you have many more powers than you and I really understand. With others of like mind, if we join together and we speak the same things, like chanting to the universe, or the ohms, that we can change our world. What if? We are not God, nor are we gods? However, we are created in the same Im image of by his own spoken word. To truly believe, to know without doubt that you, through his power, and again I will say, through his power, that he gifted to you. Yes. Given and gifted to you by God Almighty himself, the creator of all things, the universal God. You can speak what he wills to be done for you and for our world. For you see, he wants for all of us only good. He wants for us good things. Love, never evil things or bad doings against us. All you need to do is know just know, believe without reservation, and so shall it be. Speak with the conviction of heart and soul. You, the mortal body, are much more then you understand. You are a great spirit capable of many, many things. And through your own mouths, you speak sometimes terrible things into existence. For those of you that are Christian, and do not believe what I'm telling you. I suggest that you go to Mark 11, 22, 24. I also suggest that you check out James 4, 2 and James 1, 5 through 7. And Jesus answered, saith unto them, answering, saith unto them, have faith in God, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever ever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, 
what things soever ye desire. When ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall receive them. James said, Ye have not, because ye have asked. Ye, ye have not, because ye ask not. If you are not speaking to God in expectation of receiving that which you ask for, it will not come into existence in our lives. Now, friends, what I just shared with you is gospel truth, absolute truth, confirmed truth. It is shared with you because I love each and every one of you. And all the controversies, the disputes, the negativity, the bickering, are in fact like bees that sting the spirit and they stop our progress. We're not going to always see the same thing. We're not always going to find the same thing. We won't pick up the same puzzle piece. But in believing and speaking for the same things, with that honest-to-goodness, sincere belief. What if? I love you all. I certainly do. And great big hugs and a whole bunch of love to all of you. Today I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have sunshine and great things. Catch you later.